You think they're reducing their merchandise footprint? I have no idea what's going on here. So we're at Burlington Coat Factory. I used to visit this store a couple times when it first opened to kind of find out what it was because we'd never had one in the area before. And then haven't really been in five years. Burlington Coat Factory, they're more than great coats. Well, for a while, it was always just about the coats. But the jingle is just burned into me. Yes. Burlington Coat Factory, Factory. they're more than great the coats. coats. Yeah. Burlington Coat Factory, they're more than great coats. This is on the site of a former Zares then Ames location built in 1969. This whole plaza was built in 1969 for a little bit of retail history. Edgar's used to be where the Sears and the Savers is now long gone, died out in the mid-80s. For those getting their bearings, the Sears outlet that we once did. Is right there. Right there. And, and the Savers we did is right there. <laughs> yeah, so we don't really travel far. This just in, I was just doing a quick Wikipedia search. Yeah. It is no longer called the Burlington Coat Factory. It's just the Burlington Department Store. Really? Yes. We have an out-of-date view. I'm still talking about coats in the parking lot. <laughs> you donate a coat, and then they give it to people who need coats for the winter. Their line thing reminds me very much of Marshall's CJ Maxx, yeah. but this is a pretty pretty wide open space. I remember this being all aisles. <laughs> yeah. That area was sort of more like clothing department store. I just read that they've run into problems calling real fur faux fur, run into legal problems over this. I guess they're trying to appeal to like the humanity, but you can also sell real fur for much more than that. Um, but it depends on the quality of the fur. Mm -hmm. A lot of that are from like rough animal sources. What's the line? Is this supposed to hypnotize me? A splitting me? headache. What is that supposed to hypnotize me? No. Just give you a splitting headache. Tell us Grandes. 6X. Look at that. You could go to Burlington Coat Factory. Random selection. I mean, it's a very limited. This is the 6X tag and there's all kinds of just random sizes. So it's poorly sorted. They actually have 6X stuff here. Whoa. They're showing you who's boss. Yeah. They're like, you thought you knew us. You don't know us. They kind of got the clothes in a huge bulk in the center. Then all around the edge, they have house coats. Well, like, it set up used to be in a different location. It used to be in the old mills, like where the candy outlet yes. is. Yes. Yeah. What do you think of this? Um, you're more than a great coat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it looks nice. It does. That's right. Oh, it's only 20 bucks. I really like the style of it. It looks like a vest and then another layer, but it's actually just one. Why do you like that? I don't know. A do faux like... vest. <laughs> I, I just realized this all matches. The shelves are really out of order. Like, I can't, the sizes are just everywhere. There's not that many places that sell big and tall clothes, so I'd be interested, but I'm not gonna scour like these huge aisles to try to find the few 6X items. I didn't expect it to basically be a home goods around the perimeter. It used to be basically like a baby Zara on that side. Yeah, there's a ton of open empty area. That's a, it's a brony top. This feels right. It's cute. <laughs> How much? Just out of curiosity. 13 bucks. I've always been very into this concept. You get a whole bed decoration. The comforter, the shams, the bed skirts, and four decorative pillowcases. The whole thing, $90. It feels like a TJ Maxx store now. It or completely they're trying to copy does. a TJ Maxx. Now remember, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, all TJX. All and this all feels like that to me. TJ Maxx does not own Burlington. Burlington is owned by a capital investment firm. And generally when capital investment firms get a hold of companies like that, their motive is to just make as much money as they can as quickly as they can. If that ends in bankruptcy like it did with Toys R Us, so be it. However, with Burlington, the capital investment firm has found a good strategy to copy whatever TJ Maxx does. There's other stores out there too, like Ross Dress for Less, that do the exact same thing. They take the most successful parts of TJ Maxx and implement it in their store because they know it'll work. It's a queen size mattress that you can take to go. How conveniently sized. So you don't have to like get it delivered. It's a memory foam mattress. Oh, you probably so have to let it expand for a couple days. Oh, so it's all compressed. Yeah. Like, that's how I bought Gloria's mattress. She has a full size mattress that arrived in a box, you know, like half that size. Don't throw out your caddy. Remove the straps and use it as underbed storage. Look at this. This is kind of cool. You can split it in half and then use it as underbed storage because it's got really nice handles on both sides. Good job, Celie. I'll take it. Dog beds. I've always tried to get my cat into cat beds, but they won't have it. Because I'd like to like control where my cat is so I could give it scritches while I sit. A big pile of clearance. There's no reason for it to be this messy. The whole store feels like really badly fronted. If it was the day after Black Friday, all right, I understand your store's gonna be a mess. That's what has like security right up front. Yeah. Which intimidated me. Yeah, it was very intimidating. I didn't think it was very intimidating that security badge was a sticker. A physical presence, like a grumpy guy right inside the door. She doing her high kicks? Yeah. It's a blanket with uh, the yarn is huge. One roll of yarn at like AC Moore is 30 bucks. And this wow. is an entire blanket. If you see an alligator, don't forget to, ah! <laughs> yeah. 
Does the team proceed to the shoe department, or do they go visit additional bedding? I just shoes over bedding. You kind of disappointed with Burlington? Yeah, it's so badly fronted. That's the message your store sends to your customers. Hey, look at this. Hangers on. Look, I'll, I'll front it for them. I'll, I'll, I'll front this shelf. I fronted the shelf. The shelf looks nice. Now your clothes won't slip off of the rack anyway. So the fronting issue has to deal with where you're placing a lot of your employees in the store. It's not that they don't have people working stock, it's just that the number of people working stock does not reflect a store of that size. I'm always on the lookout for a good pair of slippers. I haven't found one in years that I really like, so. Now, do you need the kind that you're gonna be able to walk outside with? I'd like to, light outside duty. I take my trash outside, I have to walk out on the porch a little bit. Even in the winter time, I sometimes do that completely barefoot. Ooh. Just for like a minute. They have too much space here, you think? I mean, they've been here for a long time. It's not that big a store, yeah, and you've been here for a long time. You know how much merchandise you have. Ship a little Maybe, more in, fill up the... You think they're reducing their merchandise footprint? I have no idea what's going on here. We're not in a very bad area, you know. We're in an okay area. There's no reason for the store to be this show. Well, we are in Fall River. There's a brand new Old Navy in that other plaza. You think this, this, looking like this, is competing with Old Navy? Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe they, that's the problem. It, Maybe those new businesses over there are really sucking the business. Burlington, you could be Old Navy, but you plan. <laughs> These racks are like... Brandon, your place is one missing here. There's a cute baby. Peter masks. PJ masks. Yeah, boy. That's a lot of space. This is the portrait area. You can take pictures. As for that huge open area, what was going on there, that's just the seasonal section. That was probably full of Christmas decorations and Christmas clothes and candy and that kind of stuff just a few days ago. Somebody's attracted to the toys. A worm. A worm. A glow worm. Nah. Just a worm. Small selection of toys here. Like real cheap Chinese stuff. <laughs> Disappoint. It's a big ravioli. <laughs> that is cute, actually. Not as cute as the floppy disk I got. I use it as a head pillow sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, when I'm sitting on my couch, I put it in. I love it every time I see it. You don't like that one? I can switch it out. Oh, I like that one on you very much. Is this one even better? Well, I like the red. How about John with a bow tie? John looks great with a bow tie. I probably would look okay with a bow tie and a proper white shirt. Ten dollars and matching cufflinks. Nine ninety nine. Right? You could get this whole set with like a little flower and a pocket That's thing. That's a little too fancy for me. A little too hipster. The genuine leather. It's a little low in the back. I kind of like them a little higher in the back. You know. I like them to stay on my feet. I found our next puppet. Wait, it says faux fur. It's absolutely faux fur. What what creature in nature? Big selection of junk tech. Yeah. Do you need any um? Steering wheel covers, because they have a department. They have a department of steering wheel covers. So all around the store, they've had these racks, right? That's the only one I've seen with the sign inserts. Otherwise, they look like bare metal shelves, very unattractive. And they've made so many of these now. It's it's so not practical to have this on a pillow. So we paid it's $8 fun. for that other one. This one's 15 More value for your money. Yeah. Because really, the other one was only a quarter. This is 4X the pillow. Yeah, you're right. You're getting four times as much. 4X the pillow. Four times the gaudiness. Let's look at the junk tech over right. here. Uh, doesn't it kind of feel like a clearance section of junk tech? It just because it's not well fronted again. Yeah. And there's like one of a lot of things, which is also unusual. Like one. many ways to play music over Bluetooth to a speaker. Yes. Electric word clunks. Uh, what is it? So it tells you the time, but it tells you it by lighting up words. Oh, that's it stupid. Is Why? I think unique clocks are interesting. Imagine you're two years into that clock and you're like, oh, this stupid thing. I don't even know what time it is. A practically small stool with a little pillow song. What would you buy that for? I mean, I wouldn't, but I'm just wondering who would. Who Maybe would, if you want to raise your feet six inches. This easier. is the kind of slipper that I want, Frankie. It's got a, it's lined inside. It's real leather. It's got a great shoe base. It's size 14, and I'm a size 11. If it was 10 bucks, I'd buy them and just wear an extra pair of socks. But for 30, which is what these are. Sorry, I'm noticing it's getting kind of busy in here. There's a lot of people. How can they even find what they're looking for? Well, that makes you the only one to buy anything. I'm sorry, I thought I was going along. So John has to go on a pilgrimage to find a seat. This TJX kind of impulse stuff, it's like a lot of junk tech. A car charger for your Nintendo Switch. You know, oh yeah, I do need that, you know. <laughs> Are you glad you're tall enough to be able to lean on these? Uh... Bullets, yes. Burlington, what do you think? I think it has potential, but it's not living up to it. Speak for yourself. Hey, you found a nice thing, but the store was kind of a mess. We gotta figure out if it's owned or influenced by TJ. Exactly influenced. <laughs> Didn't do it for me. This feels feels like a lower quality TJ Maxx. I think it's about the same. <laughs> oh, yesterday. Oh, look at these low prices. Yeah, I know. How do they do it? Why go anyplace else? I wouldn't. I got it at the factory. Burlington Confectory. Oh, you great